It's original except a brushed on exterior paint. 152 cubic inch four cylinder, three speed and floor. First economy truck made in US unless Crosley qualifies as first. Inside has a new seat cover. Front brakes have one plunger slave cylinders. Inside and under hood all original. Was retired from somewhere in North Dakota. This truck was purchased from the original owner in 2014. He hauled doubles loaded with export lumber from the lumber mills in Lyons, Oregon to the Port of Portland and the Port of Seattle from 1963 until 2012. The truck is restored to mostly original condition except for the newer Big Cam 400 engine and the RTO 14613 transmission. I use it to go to truck shows and pull my travel trailer. This truck was on the front cover of the May-June 2016 issue of Wheels of Time. Purchased January 2001, I found this truck in the California rice fields outside of Sacramento. It's pretty much identical to a single axle KW I drove during the summer of 1965 for Pacific Molasses out of Albany, New York, when I was a graduate school at the State University of New York at Albany. Ordered in December 1962 and delivered to the Thomas Proctor Company in February 1963, this truck was used to haul all of the heavy construction equipment that the company employed to build all of the docks, jetties, seawall, and sewage plants up and down the New Jersey coast. Restored to original in 2007 with a 673 Mac turbocharged diesel, quadruplex transmission, and 8 over 29 rear axle ratio. Also, 25 ton Fruhoff winch and 65,000 pound rears. <laughs> thousand original miles sold new by Brockway sales and service Schaefer's garage Johnstown Pennsylvania as a coal truck in 1965 it was involved in a rollover and was bought back by the Schaefer's and rebuilt with the help of employee Stephen Christie they built a shop wrecker using the Brockway and weld built crane purchased from the railroad and a custom body the truck was sold after Schaefer closed in 1977 and eventually back to Christie with 8,000 miles in 1983 and us in April of 2018. Purchased this truck in 1976. My dad drove it for a while, then we restored it to its new condition. 350 cubic inch, 400 plus horsepower, two speed automatic and a 12 bolt posi. This truck now has started super modified race cars at Oswego Speedway, Sandusky, Lee Star, Thompson, Lorraine County, and more. Did 90% of the restoration myself.
As fire chief and mechanical engineer, my father designed two state-of-the-art pumpers for the Happy Valley Fire District in Oregon. In 1968, a year after my father passed away, the fire department wrecked the two identical trucks when one rear-ended the other. One truck was made from the remaining pieces, and in 1981, it was sold to Soldanta, Alaska, where it spent 17 years. I purchased it in 1998, bought it back to Portland area and restored it to the original condition. It was originally a semi-tractor that I converted to a straight truck flatbed. It had hydraulic brakes with air for the trailer, but I converted it to air brakes. It has a 330 gas engine and four-speed transmission with a two-speed rear end. The original rear axle was a mechanical two-speed with a separate shifter and linkage, but I switched it to a new axle with electric two-speed. Kaiser built approximately 400 of these double cab Jeep trucks for the Marine Corps. They were based on the Willys Forward Control Jeep FC-170, except with a three-cylinder, two-cycle Cerulist Loop Scavenge Diesel. In 1972, this truck was painted for a truck driver in North Carolina to match his Freightliner COE. drove this truck when I was 18 years old, purchased for $300 when I was 19 in 1987, installed a 711 Mack motor with 5 over 4 Mack transmission, completely disassembled the cab and repainted interior factory Mack green and exterior factory Mack red. Never repainted the box. Put it to work for the next 15 years. Purchased from a scrapyard in Rhode Island in 1999, flatbedded to New Jersey where it resides now. Started life as a tractor pulling for the U.S. block in Bronx, New York. The next owner stretched it 11 inches and installed a dump body, a maxi brake, and snow plow equipment. I received it as a cab and chassis and just freshened it up a bit. It is equipped with the original Max 711 double over 18 speed quadruplex, HD torque arms, and 11 over 24 rubber. Gross vehicle weight on this single axle truck is 47,000 pounds. I saved this truck from the crusher in 1982. All I got was the cabin frame. I lived in a house with a two car garage and an HOA. Not fun. I rebuilt it as a front wheel drive pickup with a 454 Chevy engine. Many years later, I converted it to a flatbed so we could tow our fifth wheel RV. The front wheel drive has been removed and replaced with a four speed manual and three speed aux transmission. <laughs> Restored in 1988 and used as a daily driver for 12 years. Originally had a six cylinder engine, but replaced it with a rebuilt 259 Studebaker V8 with three speed overdrive. Truck originally came with a wide box, which was derived from a 1958 Dodge pickup by Studebaker to compete with the big threes offering of a wide box bed. 
However, the bed was a bit odd looking, too wide for the cab in many, uh, Minnie's opinion. I found a narrow box from the early model and used that instead. This Scout 80 fire engine was purpose-built by International to serve as in-house at their factory in Springfield, Ohio. The fire equipment, including the tank and PTO pump, were installed by Darley. It served for at least 10 years at International Harvester's Laguna Avenue plant. It is mostly original at 8,500 miles, but has some odd additions that were likely acquired from the odd parts found along the assembly lines where it worked. The text on the door is correct, but was added by some previous owner. This truck was a full ground up 10 year restoration project. Frame was split to all six individual rails, blasted and painted. The engine is a 673C, was fully rebuilt. Trans is a quad box. Truck has 60,000 pound rears. Truck after its completion was displayed for two years at the Mac Museum. All work was done by father and only paint has done by another person. This truck is going to be my next and possibly last great project to begin this fall. Wanted to have one since I saw the same model chase Dennis Weaver around in the movie Duel many years ago. Bought it at the ATHS show last year in Reno. Motor runs great. Going to do a full restoration and drive it to the show in Virginia next year with ATH member Robert Dirks, my oldest and best friend of 50 years. We purchased this truck from the son of the late John Hohenwater and brought it back to operational status. While we don't really know the truck's full history, we do know that this truck was John's pride and joy. John was an active ATHS member and enjoyed taking his Pete to the local shows with his son, Kurt. The truck is a sweetheart and we keep it preserved in John's memory. Powertrain includes an NTC 350 Cummins 13-speed transmission and an R170 rear on Pete's spring suspension. This white 4000 series 4464 TDL is a rare lightweight model as designated by L, which signified an aluminum frame. Old Blue was owned and restored by l &H Trucking of Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Glenn Longstreth features an NH262 turbocharged power plant 
with power delivered through a 10-speed road ranger. Tandem axle on velvet ride suspension. Old Blue has been a staple at truck shows throughout the Northeast for over 30 years, with Glenn L. as owner until 2011, and now the Gales.